What's up, guys? It's the Mighty Zing Fate 500 here with another episode of Let's Play Shadow Hearts 2. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, saw a pretty interesting scene between, uh, you know, Yuri and Karen. Uh, things are, I guess, kind of heating up between them. Not really. Yuri doesn't seem very interested in Karen. Uh, and uh, it was interrupted by a giant monster attack. Well, I guess it was giant. And uh, it was that monster that escaped from the Hojo lab or whatever. Uh, I did a bunch of things off screen. I uh, equipped a whole, all my new equipment on everybody. I leveled up Yuri's um, uh, souls a little bit. Uh, messed with the rings a little bit. Uh, I think for the rest of the game, I'm gonna, you know, nobody really said anything about what team they wanted, so I'm going to be sticking with this team, Yuri, Karen, Anastasia, and Lucia, and I'm gonna be swapping in, uh, uh, Golden Bat, well, down there, <laughs> I'm gonna be switching in Yohim a bit here and there, because I, I, I wanna use him, but, uh, for the most part, I don't think I'm gonna use Geppetto ever again, I'm gonna show off all his skills, Karando, maybe I'll use once in a while, I'll have to use him for something later on, um, I'll... I may swap him in, in once in a while because he's going to need some experience. And Blanca, maybe. Uh, I think I'm just going to switch between this, you know, because I like this mix between physical attack and heal, uh, magic. Um, but if you guys want me to use somebody else, just let me know. Uh, so anyways, we're going to uh, move on. We're going to head this way. I actually uh, went back and looked at my uh, 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 crest. I, I, I solved the one that I was trying to, and I failed at it miserably. Cuts in. Did you see why that guy flew? <laughs> that was really funny. It's Godzilla. Bad dog. Bad. Bad dog. Our soldiers are being wiped out. What is your wish? If this continues, many will die. Master, I believe the three of us together could stop it. Mm. Huh. Master! Over there! Uh. These are the Yokohama soldiers. Yuri! <laughs> it's Hunk! <laughs> Rest in peace, Hunk. <laughs> I never knew that he had webbed fingers. It'll destroy the city! What do we do? I'll figure out something. Can we just go I can feel Nikolai's spirit in it. I mean, is that Nikolai's face sticking out of its chest there? I don't really, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Damn it! That's what I'm saying. You gotta fight these little losers before you can get close to them? Apparently. <laughs> but that's all right. I've got the mind's eye and a whole bunch of other broke stuff. Close in on the chin because it's necessary. Come. Huh? It's you. I'm Oka, of the Mutant Apes. She see no evil. I'm here. Speak no evil. I'm right here, no evil. Uh, that monster, are you responsible for it? No. Oh, huh? Kato. Stop. I have no desire to fight you now. You mean to say, first, we stop the monster, huh? Yes. 
We'll take care of the weaker enemies. You handle the Shoki. You mean we fight together? Yes. Fine with me. After that, you start talking. Very well. Mutant Ape, get us an opening. Yes, yes master. master. Time to kick some ass. Take no prisoners. Ah, uh, we gotta play these losers. <sighs> I like how Yuri didn't, uh, notice that... Who, who she is, who Sino Evil is. Like, it's like that... The Superman case, you know, she has a visor over her eyes, so they... They're like, I don't know who she is, she's mysterious! <laughs> no experience gained. No experience needed. Yep, gotta fight all three of these losers. But you saw how fast the first one went down, man. I think they, yeah, they spread them out so you can't do that. But it's really no big deal. I think the third one, it's, uh, it doesn't allow you to do this. You have to kill each one individually. Again, it doesn't really matter. Let's just punch off oh, me and oh well, he's dead anyways. Not that misses. Level 50, that's not the max level in this game. <laughs> but uh, apparently that's their cap, is level 50. Let's see how well this goes. Oh wait, no you can cheese them. Fantastic. Don't mind if I do. That building's just burning back there. Don't take it personally. Or at least the window's burning. Alright, we guys are dead. Time to kill the big dude. Shoki. Elimination complete. Master, we did it. Good. Darn. They're strong. Ow! Okay, let's go. Yeah, they took the little guys out, but we're stronger. We're gonna take out the big guy, because they're too much of a whip to do what we gotta do. Yuri can take all of them single-handedly. All he has to do is punch him in the face. Do obscene amounts of damage. Watch their battle very closely. They are our ultimate opponents. Yes, Master. Spying on me, gathering data so they can kick my ass. I won't allow it. Never. Are. I just looked back at my quest list and I found I missed one of the, which I figured I did, one of the water areas. I'm totally freaking missed it. It's time to go all fights on their asses. Some really long fingernail weapons of some sort. Uh, energy charge. Yes, please. Can I have it? But it's gonna break the chain, combo chain. I don't really care. Uh, let's do a snapshot. Now look this way. Meteor fall. I don't like that. Is he Sephiroth all of a sudden? Oh shit, giant meteor. Ow! 206, that hurt pretty hard. That's alright, I can cure it. <laughs> I almost hit X, I forgot how s I got her on that super slow ring. <laughs> uh, you know, I was actually also looking over, you know, just doing some, uh, just reviewing how much longer we actually have in the world of Shadow Hearts 2, and we're actually really close. Oh, sweet! Maximum SP multiplied by 2, hell yes! That's fantastic! So, let's go ahead and break this dude over our knee. Do tons of freaking damage. How'd you like it? Thousand damage? Did it taste good? Hope it did. Oh, let's go ahead and cash kill too. You know, I typically don't play like this. I'm really enjoying this playthrough this because I'm playing a lot differently. Usually I don't bother with doing all these buffs and all this other crap, except for like, attack up. 
But I never bothered with cash deals. But I figured it, you know, why not? 10,000 like cash for free and like, you know, losing using Lucia. I never really used her much because I always hated getting screwed over by the tarot cards. I'm like, man, that's supposed to help me and it's just like screw me over. I'm playing a lot more defensively in the in a sense. Uh, for one ally. Oh, my gosh. I wish I had that on all allies, but I don't. Is this guy light or dark? He's light for some damn reason. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna cure myself because he hit pretty damn hard. Really, I should have her attack. I mean, she's a decent attacker. She's nowhere near the amount of damage that Karando or Yuri can do. But I mean, come on, it's Yuri and Karando. They do craps the amount of t damage as it is. Sweet, perfect. What is this thing? Shining Times Moon Oil. No, eventually I'll go back and I'll use all these. I should do that off screen. Just use all these oils so I know what the hell they do. Physical attack increased by 18%. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and use Arc Rage. Just buff myself up even more. Stupid amounts of damage. I believe that stacks too, so. Uh, I wonder if I want I'm going to do an energy charge. make herself even more broke. That does not stack, however. I know that for a fact. Just hit him with whatever I got. Yeah, we did, you know, a decent amount more. 200 damage more. Instant death. Crap. That's some cheap crap. Do I have a uh, raise? I don't. Not on her, anyways. It's alright. I've got something to take care of that. I was gonna block. Uh, what I was seeing earlier is uh, I was looking at how much more we have in Shadow Hearts 2. We're actually uh, getting close to the end. We're about 65% done with the game, uh, which is pretty amazing. I thought we had a lot more to go. I was like, damn, we actually are really close. There's only like three or four more dungeons left to go, and uh, we'll be we'll pretty we'll be on the uh, bonus stuff that we got to do. So let's go ahead and do Evil Summoning since he is. A light type monster. 245, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, you might notice that I'm losing SP at an exponential rate, and that is because I put on the huge jug, or small jug, one of the two, and uh, what that does is it increases your SP consumption by double. So you gotta be kind of careful with that. You can, you can uh, be a a pain in the butt, especially once we get like some of the, the like the best summon or the best human in the game. Uh, for a minute there, I thought that did 900 and something damage. I was gonna be like, what? Don't hit Karen again with that. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Special defense down 30%. Oh no, she died, so it reset itself. You know what? We're just gonna attack you. I'm gonna lower your HP down enough. Oh, wow! How did I miss that? That's special right there. That's right, he should go down after Lucia's turn. Need something? Ah, oh, not enough. But that's alright, he should die after this. Or after um, Anastasia's turn. 240, 240, not bad. But just not enough to finish off who I wanted. Ah, oh, she's dead anyways. Crap. Um, you know what? I don't want her missing experience, so I'm going to do a uh, use a pure root on Yuri just to buy me a little bit of time. Oh, shoot. I don't know if that's even going to buy me enough time, is it? Yeah, it did. It bought, it bought me enough time for one, <laughs> one turn, which is all I need. And now, hopefully, this does, he does not go straight for Karen with that bull crap. Don't kill Karen, please. Gosh darn it! You're such a scoundrel! I swear this game's a butthole sometimes. Whatever, it doesn't matter. You're gonna die next turn with uh, Lucy. I don't even have to get a strike on that. I'm just gonna. Shining Oil, wear off. Aww. Let's do a physical attack. This should hopefully kill him. There we go. 180, of course.
There we go. Judgment, a nice seal of the soul, and a seal of vitality. Very nice. I always take those. Bunch of cash and experience. Very nice. Impressive, as expected. Now you're going to tell me where Nikolai is. Hmm. I sense Nikolai in that monster. First, you take the emigre manuscript. Then, you take Nikolai. I'm here to put an end to this. It has nothing to do with you. Not good enough. Get any deeper into this and your very soul is in danger. Leave Japan at once. No way. Someone in this capital is pulling the strings, and I plan to find out who. No matter what? That lousy coward. He's hidden away while millions of lives are ruined. I won't let him get away with that. The Army's Hojo Research Facility. That's where you'll find Nikolai. He's still alive? Of course. But the minute you step foot in there, they'll use all their power to stop you. Sounds good. Very well. I'll be waiting. Fantastic. Now, you know, this is the thing with the uh, storyline in Shadow Hearts 2. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Is that right? So you came all this way to find this man you call Nikolai? Yes. A leading member of a secret society and heir to the imperial throne of Russia, and now Ishimura has him. Ishimura? Foreign Minister Kantaro Ishimura, the one who truly controls the cabinet. So that's Kato's boss? Correct. He wields tremendous influence here. Recently, he's even formed his own army called the Iron Soldiers to consolidate his power. He also controls the Hojo Research Lab. That monster, and the mutant apes too? That monster was probably an experiment that somehow managed to escape. That laboratory has been conducting suspicious experiments for years, always involving new weapons research. It looks like Ishimura somehow plans to use Nikolai against Russia. Against, against Russia? Russia? That is correct. They may even open up a new front in the war. Is that crazy? He may be a bastard son, but there is no doubt that he is the prince. If we are not careful, Ishimura would use him as his pawn to seize power in Russia. No way! Do you think he can really do it? It's been done successfully many, many times in the past. If this war gets any bigger, a lot more people are going to die. What's truly scary is that he is willing to unleash his monsters on the world. Ah, uh, but then... Hmm? I just don't believe Kato's capable of it. He wouldn't just blindly follow orders from someone like Ishimura. I'm sure he's planning something else. Why do you think so? He's got a good heart. 
In Shanghai, he protected your daughter all the way until the end. But even so, I can't see why he'd come all the way to Europe to help Sapientes Gladio get the Emigre manuscript. Huh? Emigre what? The Emigre manuscript, a magic book that brings back the dead. So far, everyone that's been after it has been trying to use it for evil purposes. Last time it caused a hell of a mess. I don't believe it. I owe that man a great deal for bringing back Yoshiko's body all the way from Shanghai. I can't really believe that Kato would use that book to pursue evil ends. Hmm. What is it? Did you just remember something? That woman named Oka. From the mutant apes? What about her? When I heard her voice, I thought it sounded kind of familiar. Yuri, have you ever met her before? No. That was the first time. Well, so what? She sounded like... Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima. What? My... Yoshiko? And he dies. Is he all right? Yes, he's resting at the moment. It scared me when he fainted like that. You'd faint too if you heard that your dead daughter was still alive. But do you really think that Oka person is Lady Yoshiko? I didn't see her die with my own eyes. So I'm really not sure. Couldn't we find out by paying a visit to the laboratory? What? <sighs> yeah. There's an idea. We'll just go right out and ask her, are you Yoshiko Kawashima? It's easy. Why didn't I just think of that? Are you sure? Of course. Wait. <laughs> They're taking him serious? I thought he was... I uh, thought he was... The thing is, I'm not seeing particularly. I always thought, like, wait a minute. He was joking. Like, he was being cynical. Like, he wasn't being serious. But no, he, he was being completely serious. <laughs> a little fright there, yeah. Well, I mean, I would be a little worried, too. You know, dead daughter, supposedly not dead. Although we know better. She actually is dead. Brought back by the power of the Emigre Manuscript. Oh, we're not gonna go do anything stupid, yeah. So he's like, you know, Kato has a good heart, blah blah blah. Well, yeah, whatever. Um, I think the uh, the, the the story in this game kind of falls off here in the second half of the game, just because you, you get wrapped up in all this nonsense with Tom. Where's it? With the, the whole, like, struggle for power, I mean, you're chasing after the immigrate manuscript, whatever, but Kato's story is really freaking retarded, in my opinion. Like, when we get towards the end, um, let's see, there should be something over here I want. There it is, Soul Drop! Yay! We can get another Maximum Fusion or whatever. Uh, should be a dude somewhere around here, too. I think around here somewhere. No, I didn't want to leave. Or did I leave? Yeah, I think I left. Nope, I didn't. Cool, this is what I wanted. The Ring Soul! What the hell? What the, the hell? Wing Soulsy Wellsy? Talks like a Taru Taru from Final Fantasy XI. What the hell? That is the strangest ring soul ever. Uh. Wait. 
Wait, what? So, wait, I'm, I'm confused. Is this like a, is that like a microphone? Like, wait, is there, is, I'm really confused. <laughs> the ring soul is very strange. Wait, so the ring soul's grandmother died? I, you know what, never mind. I better not question it. Think about it too hard and you just die. So he's become really chummy with, yeah, he's getting a little creepy. Uh, uh, okay, so, let's go over this way, talk to this man here, and we get the Nibelung scene six, nice, so, we're done here, um, now, here's the thing, we pretty much, with uh, our, if we go to our ring customization, there's not anybody who can really take a f benefit from the r attack boosts. And I will not use any of these attack boosts on Anastasia or Lucia. For one reason, is because their hit rings become smaller and more obnoxious to hit. And they these last two hits don't do much damage at all. It's that first hit that I really like, and it's just, um... I prefer to keep it that way. Some people are like, well, that's wasting damage. You don't really auto-attack with them very often. And when I do auto-attack them, it's just for a finishing blow. That's it. I don't want to make it harder to get perfects with them. So that is my reasoning behind not using... Um, for not using uh, their, you know, the, any more of these swords. I just, I really have no interest in doing it. Alright, uh, let's see, there should be a lottery member over here. Um, hopefully I can get this. You're in a gambling? Yeah, I want to play. Try and stop me. So, there's the warning device. We can get that. If we don't win it, you know, it doesn't really hurt my feelings. This is really easy to get. Um. I st oh, what? And I say that and I still freaking miss it? You kidding me? No, this is ridiculous. It um, seems to be a random ring. I hit it a little bit earlier than I did last time, so I should get it. There we go. Cool. Woohoo, we're on fire. Warning, Vice. Come back anytime you want to gamble. I don't. Now, the game still, like, my guide still says there is a freaking card. There it is! How many times did I walk over to that spot and it did not give it to me? So I'm thinking maybe you can't get that tower card until after you've beaten that dude. Um, oh, shoot. Actually, let's go back this way. We need to go to the park area, and this will be the last thing I do on this episode. I want to give um, Blanca something here. Let's see. Ben Berserk recovers his speed. Don't really care about that. Give him a pocket watch. And, uh. That's, no. And I want to give Blanca something. Does he have a shield of some sort? I don't think I have anything that has shield that somebody already has. Yeah, somebody has aim. Uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. I should be able to win with, with or without that. So let's head over to the left here. Save my game, just in case. Just be safe. Man, I already wasted a freaking... See how much money? I had 79,000 when I started, and now I have 123,000 from just those fights that we did. It's pretty ridiculous. Lots of money. I also have an uh, accessory on Karando that um, gives us 20% more experience or money for fights, but item drop. Where is this dude at? I thought there was supposed to be someone over here. I don't see this stupid. There should be a freaking battle wolf over here somewhere. Park. Why did I not see it? What the hell? Oh, you know what? That's not the park. That's just like a stupid battle area. I need to go to the right. And we're gonna go do a wolf bout. Hopefully win. I've already done all her trials. Those are complete for now. Oh, look, an item. Can I have that? What is this? So seal of wisdom. Okay, I'll take that. Time to du 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 duel. What's the great Blanca say? He wants. Look at this. You got a fan, Blanca. 
She, she's gonna jump your bones, dude. You better watch out. Actually, that's not a bad thing. Whoa. Oh god! Wait, never mind. <laughs> I didn't see that up, up close. What's wrong with this lady? What the hell? Oh, she looks like you got a stalker. <laughs> oh, so mean. Yeah, well, what kind of gentleman are you? This woman's crazy. I better run. Kind of messed up there. Now I'll show you the fury of a woman scorned. This is a sticky situation. I guess this woman simply can't resist my charm. Yes, I guess so. <laughs> so here we go. With this fight, uh, you can guess by why I put a pocket watch on. She does. Um, she does. She's gonna put some stupid status effects on us, like small ring or something like that. It's annoying, but we can deal with it. Uh, she's, I think she's ice, so we're gonna, no, oh, his magic kind of sucks, so we're just gonna physical attack her. And I'm not worried about strikes. We're just gonna, we're just gonna auto attack her. Although she does a lot of damage with this hail crash, it kind of hurts. Ow, 103. But we can take another one of those before we have to heal. Stop hail crashing me. Ow, you did a lot of damage. That's okay. I have steroids. Give me all my health back. Thank you. Small ring won't work on me. She does a little bit more damage than I do, I think. Bite you in the butt. No, no, I do a lot more. And I poisoned her. Fantastic. This is one of the rare cases that my freaking ring effect actually worked on her. Holy crap. I think rarely ever works. Wait, I meant to use a root. It's only gonna do like 50, 150. Oh, that's better than nothing. She's gonna take it all back right here. But I'm still doing damage to her every time. Teach her lesson not to be so, like, you know, she's stalking you, dude. She's like collected piles of bones I buried and stuff. I'm sure Blanc wants to bury his bone in her. Buzzing! Oh, there we go. Died by poison. Stole us. All right, we got a crest and a frilly apron. I don't know why we'd want to equip that, but whatever. There you go. <laughs> if you can't set aside your feelings, you shouldn't be fighting in the first place. I didn't think you'd be so strong. <laughs> oh well, <I> shouldn't just... <laughs> yeah, let's just get out of here. Wait, what? Wait, what did you do? No, don't let her do it! Man, you just signed your death warrant, man! That's it! <laughs> You're, it's too late, dude! It's way too late! Sorry! Should've, uh, should've watched that before you decided to, you know, go and sniff her butt. <laughs> He's like, I feel bad for you. I, I really do. <laughs> all right, so there we go. That is that is all we're gonna do today because uh, the next episode we're gonna go to the Hojo Research Laboratory and no, not Hojo from Final Fantasy Eleven. I'm not Eleven Final Fantasy Seven. Um, so, anyways, guys, this is Hangfei Five Hundred saying hope you guys have a good one and uh, take care.